Hello! Today I'll be talking about pi. Pi is a special number, almost equal to 3.14, and is usually written as this symbol. You can calculate pi by dividing a circle's circumference by its diameter. The circumference is the measure of the outer shape of the circle, and the diameter is the length from one edge of the circle to the other edge of the circle. With pi, we can calculate the circumference of any circle by multiplying pi times 2 times the radius of the circle, where the radius of a circle is the length from the center of the circle to an edge of the circle. But we can also calculate the area of a circle, too. The area of a circle is the space inside the circle. All you need to do is multiply pi times the radius of the circle squared. And pi can calculate the volume and surface area of a sphere, a cone, and a cylinder. By the way, the volume of a 3D object is the space inside the 3D object, and the surface area of a 3D object is the measure of its outer shape. Volume and area are different because area measures 2D space, but volume measures 3D space. Anyways, pi also appears in the formula for the normal distribution, a curve that describes the outcomes of many processes in statistics. And finally, pi appears in the equation for Einstein's general theory of relativity, a theory that changed physics forever.